Hello, Internet. And today is a pretty unique day where we finally have the patch that allows a very special team. We have unlocked the team that hates themselves the most. We got Arlen that takes health away himself. We got Jinglu that takes her ally's health. We got Blade that loves to take his own health. And we got Tingyun who never fails to make the enemy take her health away. This is the perfect team to bring into MOC 10. There you go. We all know how good Jinglu with Blade is. And we all know Tingyun never fails to get herself in trouble. So this will be an interesting watch, I think. It's either we beat them smooth sailing or we instantly die. Here we go, dude. The most suicidal team of 2023 versus the hardest content of Honkai Star Rail. Let's see what happens, man. I'll be shocked if I survive. I did not expect everyone to survive. I'm gonna be very honest. Right, here comes the first hit. The fun part about this team is no matter what we do, no matter what happens, someone's gonna lose HP. Yep. <laughs> We got our first bit of health lost here. It's Jingliu. There we go. Everyone's gonna get chopped down slowly but surely. Right, we're gonna take another turn because Jingliu is just that unfair. So here comes yet another shot of <laughs> health, dude. Yep. Our whole team does not want to live. And guess what, dude? Arlen. Look at what happens, man. He hates his life too. Let's take it off, dude. And oh, is that a blade? We're taking double the health Arlen took. Here comes the, um, you know health chippies and we should take this w away in like one cycle actually holy up until this point the enemy hasn't had a chance to like attack so that's why tingyun's like you know almost full health we have yet another you know chippy bang there we go we all hate our own selves dude right now we have ting again i'm gonna try and buff you i don't have my ulti up but you're hitting jingliu that's perfect actually now even if i don't beat anyone i should have enough energy for the ult let's go and use our e into our ult that's good in terms of damage right but it's also horrible in terms of my health look at my entire team it's getting crazier and crazier i'm gonna try and focus on the monkey why the crud not and a boom a 52k on the monkeys ah, that's pretty nice and you're targeting arlen huh that's shocking actually usually it's taking the one getting hit oh well i kind of do nothing unless at low health so i welcome you to hit me and uh, let's go with this ulti i'm getting a lot more damage now because of the low health uh, here comes the um ulti dude 25k that is pitiful he needs to be in the red for him to do anything but uh, here comes the q we are gonna non-stop hurt ourselves dude my health is going down so quick all right. Oh, 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 yep. The dissociation that... I don't know whose idea this was, but it's certainly very dumb. Let's get everything on Jingli. Up until this point, Tingyun hasn't been hit. I think we broke the game, dude. The game probably just didn't think that anyone would just end their own lives like this. But, well, here's the synergy with Blade and Jingli. There we go. That's a good hit in there. I think the enemy dies to the wind shear, too. Wait, are we actually winning this without anyone falling? That's crazy. But I think Arlen falls here. Because we're going to do this. The monkeys could have target Arlen. And look at the damage he's doing, dude. I have full set of relics on him. But yes, I only have 50-something crit rate, but that, that's as much as I could get, unfortunately. But still, dude, if you're going to be that risky, like, he's going to he's gonna go down here. Oh, man. Well, I mean, I am using the world's most suicidal team, so that's to be expected. I should have the W, though. There's nothing they can do. Right, with Jingli, right. Oh, I'm out of skill points. But anyways, this should end you. If that doesn't, this should end you. Okay, I guess I'm just wrong no matter what. But finally, no matter what... Yep, that's the Tingyun hit, dude. Oh, we should end this now. Bang, done. We actually beat them without a single healer on the team. That's pretty crazy, isn't it, Bailu? All right, now I'm gonna solo you real quick. Yes. I did win with Bailu there, but what's more important is, yeah, the suicidal team, not as suicidal as I thought. We are winning. So the question is, can I beat Swarm 5's boss with the Suicide Squad? We'll find out, dude. And here we go. The ultimate boss of the entirety of Hawkeye Star Rail. Will it go down? To a team that is trying its best to defeat itself. Let's find out. I don't think we're winning this, guys. Alright, we'll throw all the balls onto the blindfolder girl, like usual. And now we'll do the E. Get our extra turn into our ulti. We are going to get a lot of dissociation chances. And if we do land them, I do believe we are looking at probably like a one cycle clear for the first wave. Without even getting hit. And there you go. Both dissociated. She literally didn't need this. Like, even as a marketing strat, I don't think we need to, like, screw them up that bad. Giving Jinglu dissociation is just too crazy, man. Right, now we have Arlen. You should do, like, literally nothing in this fight. I'm almost tempted to just do a single target Q. But I'll do E. Even if I crit, it's probably not gonna do too much. I just can't seem to crit. I have, like, about 50. I know it's not high, but still, dude. What in the world, man? Right, they're gonna take damage for fun now from the freaking associate. I'll take that all day. Now they'll start hitting us though. Who will you target? Yep, that checks out. They're finally hitting 
tenured. If this was a preservation character, I would understand a target on top of your head. But you're a dang harmony character with a bunch of destruction. And you will get hit. And you're gonna do it often. It's pretty inspiring. Right, here comes the E. This should do some decent damage, but not enough to beat anyone. Oh, we are so... We're in the red. And yeah, two targets on top of Ting Yun's head. Blade, I get it, right? He's supposed to be hit a bunch, but they chose not to hit Arlen, not to hit Jing. We're hitting Ting Yun. We're focusing down on her. What do I do? We're dead. I could technically use a basic to get an ult for... Yeah, for Jing Liu, actually, because I've been hit that many times. That means I can ult now. Nice. We could at least beat one of them, I think, before going into the next fight, but... I don't know how we're gonna beat Swarm 5. You can't handle that much damage, Arlen, surely, right? But surely you beat that, bang. Oh my god, Arlen, you never fail to disappoint me. You know what, in the end, I probably needed 70 crit rate for him to be, like, consistent. But still, dude, you're gonna be at half health all the time? You better have done, like, a lot more damage than you do, bro. Right, anyways, let's chop our health down even more, even though we're, like, half health across the board. Oh my god, Tengen, you are rushing down the highway to hell. This will be a pardon gift, dude. <laughs> After this... I bet Tingyun disappears. Alright, Mr. E now. It should start spawning stuff, and we're screwed. We're gonna start with Blade's ulti, though. And we'll chain it into Arlen. This will be probably a parting shot from Arlen as well. We're gonna go down with the ulti. The enemy should wipe an AoE, and everyone, I think, is dead. Here it comes, man. Okay, 46k is actually good. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's this? Tingyun lives. And we have Arlen at its best. And that's at 1% health. And with this one E, I'm gonna go to literally one. And we look at our Tingyun, man. How is everyone healthier than Tingyun? But all of them have some sort of way to like hit themselves. Right, the best thing I can do with this Arlen right here is to probably go on the boss. Since you're a single target, I want to capitalize on that. 6,000 damage done, bro. I have 50-something crit rate, dude. It's not zero, man. Right, I need Blades um, straight hit to beat the bug, which did didn't happen. Tingyun still lives? Yo. Guess I'm gonna have to do this. This will explode. Dude, Tingyun has done well. Like, I'm happy with that. Everyone is down though. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do now? I'm gonna do an E here. Hopefully it does enough to beat you. Not apparently. Oh, you're dividing. I'm outing, dude. I cannot let that happen. We'll do this. Dunk it down. And I should take four stacks of wind shear as damage. Does that kill me? I'm gonna explode first. And oh, 79 health left, man. This will be the parting shot for Jing Liu as well. Who do I touch? Everything I touch means death. And I'm half responsible for it. Look at Blade's health, dude. It's still going down. I'm gonna just hit the boss, man. That's a parting gift right there. Yep, I'm down. Now we have Blade Solo. Can, of all the things that happen to our own team, where everyone just hits themselves, can Blade do it? Finish the mission, Blade. It's not my solo setup, though, so I don't think it's gonna happen. But I'm gonna believe. There's no CC on the enemy team, so it's it should be doable. Here comes the hit. I'm alive. Here comes the hit. I'm alive. Here comes the... I'm not alive. Can I... <laughs> I have to use my E here. I have to do that to myself? I guess we're doing it. Look at the soulless eyes. I would be soulless too if in front of me is three bugs ready to tear me apart and I'm just hitting myself. And, ah, uh, dude. Ah. Uh, the only way out of that was to land four dissociations on three enemies. But there you have it, dude. This video is kind of just satire because I'm practically out of content. I don't know if you could tell, guys. We couldn't beat the second team, which, hey, I am handicapping myself by beating myself, dude. I'm helping the enemy to do damage to me, and we still completely and comprehensively won against Malefic Ape and the King Shadow. And Arlen, man, what are you doing? The 54 crit rate. It's not a lot, yes, but it's 54 crit rate, dude. It's not nothing. I think he missed, like, 8 crits out of 10. I don't know. I could be wrong. And yeah, if anything, we learned that Tingyu will find a way to die if the enemy gets a chance to attack. King Liu just doesn't care. She will beat up her own allies. Blade is kind of just there. And Arlen is the specialist in this. Like, he never failed to die on both sides. I'm gonna be real, dude. I'm gonna be very honest. He needs something more. I don't know what it's gonna be, but if you have to defeat an enemy to only heal 20% of health, and the criteria to you beating your enemy is to be at low health, you're probably gonna die before anything happens, man, Arlen. Like, these are proper relics. It's not insane. It's not the world best. Uh... Arlen, but it's not horrible. <laughs> like, I think so, at least. But anyways, guys, I am completely dried of ideas, so do let me know what you want to see from me. I could collab with, uh, with our Tumble as well, we're looking at what we want to do. But yeah, just let me know in the comments. I read them all, or, or I try to read them all. But yeah, that will be all for today. I hope you guys still enjoyed. I need probably a little bit of rest, but yeah, I think YouTube doesn't care if I need rest, so here's an upload. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and take care.